Hey family, welcome to Lose Weight with Macros, the podcast with me, your host, Verona. If you are new here, welcome to the family. I'm glad to have you here. This is the podcast for busy, successful women who have more than five pounds of fat to lose and they want to do it sustainably without fad dieting, without crash diets, without cutting out carbs, without cutting out your favorite foods, without, without, without restriction, unless you've been medically advised to do so. Now, if that's you, my friend, then pull up a chair virtually, of course, grab your coffee, your tea, your water, your matcha, all your liquid or beverage of choice because today's episode so your guide to macros for healthy weight loss is going to be juicy. Hey friend, welcome to Lose Weight with Macros, the basics podcast show with me, your host, Verona. If you're somebody who's overwhelmed by all of the conflicting information out there, you're confused about how much protein you should be eating, how to count macros, you don't have time to figure out your macros, and you're sick and tired of repeating the same old boring meals because it is exhausting, you are in the right place. This Lose Weight with Macros basics podcast is specifically for you. You're the woman who wants to learn how to track your macros and do it sustainably, do it in a way that you can enjoy your foods and you don't have to cut out your favorite foods and we're not here for that so my friends if this is you grab your tea grab your coffee grab your water grab your matcha your notepad and pen because today's episode is going to be a juicy one so buckle up friends let's get it So my friends, how are you? How was Thanksgiving? Did you have a fantastic Thanksgiving? I can't believe November came, November went, and we are in the month of December. Almost, almost. Now, when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to macros, we can get inundated with information that's on the website. One person says this and another person says that. Then they say, oh no, it wasn't this, but it was that. The truth is science is regularly changing. Now, as a good nutrition coach, which I like to consider myself as, considering I've had 15 years experience of coaching, children, young people, women and their families and now specifically focused on women who have more than fat five pounds of fat to lose however it is not just all women I would love to work with every single woman but it is the woman who is ready and that means the last few weeks we've been talking about the definition of ready which particularly means they're in the position to take action and if that's you my friends then you are in the right place. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, you might have tried what feels like a hundred times. You just, all you notice is, you know what? I need to eat healthy, but I'll put it off. And you procrastinate. Procrastination becomes your best friend, especially when it comes to fat loss. Girl, I hear you. Now, if you're struggling with fat loss and you want to consider me to be your coach, then I would be honored to be your coach. However, before we put any skin to the game, I need to qualify you. You need to qualify me as your coach. So head on over to the website, vnutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash coach coaching. I would love to take all of you, but this is bespoke. So in the month of December, I'm opening up five spots for five women who are in the position to take action to change your relationship with food. It's not going to happen in 30 days. It's not going to happen in three months. You will absolutely be on the journey to succeed in that. And you can book your coaching session with me is where you need to be if you are trying to do this and do it good. So when you're looking to shed a few pounds, it's easy to get caught up in the low carb craze. Hmm. or the high fat hype. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention any diets here. You guys know my views. And if you've been here, if you're new here, I've got to assume you're new. I've got to assume that you've never heard me before. Go over to season two because we're now in season four of this podcast. But go over to season two, the ABCs of weight loss and listen to my two part series that I did on the ketogenic diet. However, as someone who has watched many friends struggle and fail and clients and women with weight loss while they try different diets, I know that there is definitely not one size that fits all. And I don't prescribe that as a coach. In fact, if you want to lose weight and you want to keep it off, what I recommend is a holistic approach. And that holistic approach will address your nutritional needs at every meal, not just one meal, not just dinner, not just snacks, but we're doing everything. That also includes mindset. And that's something that often gets missed out. I'm the type of coach where I change women's lives. Now, I was recently asked, what do I do? And I was like, huh, what do I do? I said, I change women's lives. I help you change your life when it comes to food, because that's exactly what you're doing. You are changing the way you address food, the way you speak to food, the way you use food. If you're using food, anything else than what it was designed to provide nutrition to your body, you're using it as a coping mechanism. You're using it to banish stress. You're using it to do all of those things when you're sad, you're happy, you're lonely, you're angry, you're sad. If you're using it for that, then there's been a misbalance as to what food is actually created for. If you're using it as that, I help you as a woman 
change your life. So if you are someone who doesn't know what macronutrients are, we're going to go into it a little bit here, but this is just a short, short synopsis of what macronutrients are. If you're somebody who wants an in-depth guide of what it is, grab your five minutes to macros guide, vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash macros guide. Now you've heard me talk about macros. The name of the podcast is macros. What exactly are macros? Now macros are the nutrients that give your body and my body energy and they do so in large quantities. Now macros comes from the Greek word macros, which in which also means large. So macros is large, grand, micro means small. Now they're broken down into three categories, carbohydrates, which often gets demonized, but carbs are your friend. Believe me, carbs are your friend. Protein, yes, protein is also your friend, but it can also be demonized. And the last macronutrient is fat. Yes, everybody needs fat. Sometimes we can have too many of those macronutrients in one go and in one sitting. However, that is where balance comes into play, especially when it comes to behavior change, nutrition coaching. Now, your body actually needs these macronutrients to function effectively. I'm not going to keep using a long word macronutrients. I'm going to shorten it down. I'm going to abbreviate it to the word macros. And when it comes to macros, in order for us to function properly, they're measured in calories. Do you need to count your calories to lose weight? Absolutely not. Do you need to count your macros to lose weight? Absolutely not. However, there are some of you that actually like the idea of tracking your macros, being able to have this level of accountability and flexibility whilst having your numbers ridiculously simplified for you and customized specific to you and your body. Gone are the days where you want the 40, 30, 30 split. Who wants that anymore? That's a basic, simple thing if you're just getting started and you don't want a personalized, customized approach for you. However, if you do, vanutritioncoaching.co UK forward slash custom dash macros is where you get your specific macros. What does that mean in English? Well, that means I'm taking into consideration and account everything that you've tried when it comes to diets, when it comes to your goals, what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to build muscle? Are you trying to burn fat specifically? Are you trying to have a little bit of both? Do you like the idea of flexible dieting? You've tried all other diets before and you just need something that gives you solid structure and you're ready in the position to take action to make that change for your health, then custom macros would be for you. Head over to the website and you'll see more information. And when you start to eat in a healthy caloric deficit, this is not the episode for me to go into that. However, when it comes to macros, it's important to understand how many calories each macronutrient contains so that you can start calculating how many of each macro you need per day to reach your ideal weight loss goal. Now that is if you're doing it on your own. If you're doing it with me, then I will do this for you. And then in the video breakdown, as well as the guide that I provide you, whether you're on Android or Team Apple like myself, I will tell you how to do this for yourself. They will give you an overview and there will be a template in there as to how you can calculate your macros long term. Now, do you need to track your macros for the rest of your life or your entire life? Absolutely not. As a coach, I'm empowering you, the women who are in the position to take action to make those changes behaviorally, mindsetly, emotionally, physically. So no more are you hiding behind others consistently and constantly serving others to the point that your health takes a backseat and you end up suffering even though you love serving. Now, there's nothing wrong with serving. I'm a servant hearted woman. I love serving others. But when my health said to me, hold up, Verona, you love serving others, but you need to serve yourself in terms of your health and you need to put yourself first. It was incredibly hard. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to stop. I didn't know how to take a moment to breathe. I was always on the go. If I stopped, that would then force me to look at myself in the mirror and continue to call my name myself the names I did about my body weight, how I looked and how insecure that I was. And so until I dealt with my health issues, until I had counseling, which is why I now coach mindset. When I coach mindset, we're talking about the root. Why do you procrastinate? It might not just be in food. It might be in other areas of your life that has a knock-on effect on your health that then you turn to food to deal with that instead of dealing with the root of why you procrastinate. Now, this is not a mindset episode, but this is the time of questions that I'm asking you when we're working together. So if you're somebody that doesn't like these type of questions, then I'm probably not the coach for you. And behavior change in nutrition coaching is probably not for you if you don't want to change your behaviors. Now, we're talking about macronutrients. We've just given you an overview of macronutrients. Now, how do macros help you lose weight? When it comes to weight loss, macros are our building blocks for energy. That's how our body forms energy. Now, there are no, there are no special thing. It's carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. They'll help you keep fuller 
and your cravings at bay. Now, macros, protein, carbs, and fats. Proteins will help repair muscle tissue, whilst fat maintains your healthy brain function and will still keep you fuller for longer than some types of carbohydrates. Now, how do you know your macro numbers? Now, if you're somebody that's like, okay, this sounds great, this sounds fantastic, how am I supposed to work out my numbers? Here are two things you can do. If you want a generic thing where you just want to get on with it and get on and just don't worry about customization, go to the internet tdee calculator.net and then they will calculate that for you and they will calculate they use the same formula for every person that comes to the website and then types in the specific information they require to give you a number that is great if you're starting off however if you have done the tried and true tested i just want it just tell me what to do just tell me what to do if you are away from that just tell me what to do mentality and mindset and you actually want it explained to you you don't want somebody to tell you what to do you want someone to show you what to do and how to do it there is nothing better than you being in the driver's seat of your nutrition. If you're somebody who's used to being told what to eat, what not to eat, to lose fat, and then you just give up all of the time, it's probably an indication that being told what to eat isn't quite working for you. However, if you are the person who loves that, will continue doing what you're doing. But if you're the person that actually says, well, I actually want to take part in my nutrition. I want to learn how to feed my family. I want to learn how to invite my family to like being healthy with me, not have to force them to eat or I'm eating salad leaves and then they're eating their favorite foods. And then I end up giving in and biting a piece of their burger and they're just like, you know what, forget it. I've blown it now. I might as well start again tomorrow. Now, if you're tired of all of that mentality and all of that way of living, then question yourself question and ask yourself what is it that you really want do you really want to lose weight do you just want to lose weight continue in the vein that you're going in and by that I just mean continue doing exactly what you're doing now I don't know what you're doing because I haven't had a conversation with you however it could be a combination of things you could sign up to free challenges which are fantastic for you but how long does the things that they do the things that they tell you how long do you stick at those things If you stick at it for a while, then you give up, then you know what, it's the holidays. It's always the holidays for me. If you've always got a reason or a justification or aka an excuse for these things and you're never really digging to the root cause of what that is, i.e. procrastination, and how you actually change that, how can I quit the excuses? How can I quit the justifications? Now it's going to be a challenge for you because you're so used to it. I was used to it. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Have you ever heard somebody tell you I can't? Have you ever been around somebody who moans all the time? it's depressing, right? Have you ever been around somebody who's so negative? You don't want to be around that person anymore. And in fact, you actually start to distance yourself from them because it starts to affect you. Likewise, it's the same thing when you're constantly doing the same thing and you're hoping desperately that this time it's actually going to work. Lo and behold, it actually doesn't work long term. Because if you're in the position to take action for long term changes, then your mindset has got to shift. Your mindset has got to come with you. It's got to come with your body. In fact, it's got to go ahead of your body your body almost has to catch up after your mindset is ready to go so once you've made up in your mind that right I'm positioning myself to take action whether that's hiring a coach aka myself working with another coach whether that is doing things going to a doctor getting an MOT going to actually stand on the scale when you haven't hey I'm not going to force anyone to stand on the scale that's that's a different kind of topic here. However, when you're in that position to take action, that includes tackling and addressing excuses that we have become so deeply entrenched in that we don't even realize that we're making excuses. It has just become a normal way of behavior, hence why I'm a behavior change nutrition coach. Now, that's the first way that you can do it, or you can get a coach to do it, i.e. go into the website via nutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash custom dash macros. And there I'm taking into consideration everything you've put on the application and double checking with you this is all that you're putting on the application to then customize your nutrition plan for you that way once I've done that I've given you the right ratio to meet your needs and your goals so for example if you want to build some muscle then the ratio of the macronutrients will reflect your goals and also what you can actually realistically do now let's get to the good things should you eat less carbs or should you eat more carbs and more fats Now, if you've ever been told that you should eat less fat or fat is bad for you, then it's really time to think about who you're getting your information from. Fat, just like carbs, is not the enemy. In fact, when it comes to fat, they're actually essential 
for life. And I talk about this in a bigger module when it comes to coaching and when we talk about the nutrition module in the one-to-one coaching. So listen out for that in terms of the podcast. You'll get the private podcast link, which is directly for you who have signed up with me. Now, when it comes to calculating your macros for fat loss, first of all, you're getting an idea of what your macros should be. Now, this takes into consideration your age, your weight, your height, your activity, And I also personally, when I'm doing your customized macros, take into consideration lots of other things that most calculators do not take into consideration. Now, if you are that person who doesn't need the accountability of a coach and you just want to be told what to do, absolutely go to the website and do it for yourself. However, if you're somebody who wants to understand what you're doing, you want to be a partner with your nutrition journey and your nutrition plan, you want to partner with it and actually start to get results and understand what it is you're doing and why you're doing it, then a coach would probably be the way forward for you or a systematic approach where you can be involved in it and actually learn how to do this yourself. Now, when it comes to nutrition, the effective, appropriate nutrition is key for successful fat loss. Now, while you can exercise and lose weight, it's difficult to do so without a foundation of nutrition. Now, this is because your body will need specific nutrients in order for it to build healthy nutrition and also replenish your muscles when you're doing exercise. Many people think if I exercise twice a day, I'm going to lose fat faster. Unfortunately, friends, that's just not how it works. Exercise only accounts for 20% of the calorie burn every single day. The most amount of calories that our body burns is when we're at rest resting and still pumping blood and still functioning and still doing those things that's when we're burning the most amount of calories unfortunately it is not exercise now i don't know where that got twisted but that is one of those fitness myths that need to be burned because that is not the truth now there are many different ways to lose weight through nutrition but one at tried and true way the scientific way is to be in a calorie deficit now a calorie deficit isn't a diet a calorie deficit isn't a mindset it is just the way that the body will appropriate the energy that you have so that you're not drastically reducing calories or the amount of food that you intake thinking this is going to help you lose fat faster think things like 1500 calories 1200 calories 1000 calories 800 calories that is not effective if you want to lose fat long term and keep it off because that way of life and living is unsustainable. So when it comes to nutrition, these are the key things to do when it comes to weight loss and when it comes to macros. Now, while there are several ways to calculate your macros, the most important thing is that you make sure you're eating enough food overall for your goals and your body. Now, one of the things that I do want to keep point out to you is calculators don't take into consideration your snacking, your history of self-sabotage, your history of all or nothing mindset, your negative thinking. Now, the calculator might put you into that place and tell you you've got to get a calculator, you've got to get this, you've got to download My Fitness Power, you've got to download the tracking app, you've got to do all of those things. That's amazing advice. However, if you are somebody who knows that you have a habit of snacking at the mid in the midnight hour, literally getting up out of bed when the whole house is asleep, and you're going to snack because you feel like whoa this is my time for myself but it's uncontrollable snacking a calculator is never going to take into consideration that now that is the question i'm going to leave you with as we wrap up and land at the end of this episode is what is it that you want from your journey if you've come and you've listened to these episodes we're in a new season we're in a new season four of this Um, it's amazing. I'm glad you're here. So this guide to macros for healthy weight loss, how are you going to put this into action? All of the macros weight loss episodes that you've listened to, where are you at on your journey? Have you lost weight? Have you found out what your macros are? Have you bought the custom macros guide? Have you downloaded the macros guide to see if macros is the way for you specifically in your journey? Do you think that you can realistically get out your scales and weigh your food every single day or five out of seven days a week, six out of seven days a week, whatever is specific for you? Do you think that you can weigh everything? Weigh out your rice, your chicken, your tofu, your fish. Can you realistically do that and track your app, especially if you're busy? If the answer is no, or you need more help, go and download these things. Email me support at banutritioncoaching.co.uk. Let me know how these episodes have helped you. If they have helped you, send them to somebody else. Leave a review on iTunes. Let me know how they're helping you. If you're not doing anything with it, then you're not going to get the results that you think you want to get. Now, many of us take time. Don't get me wrong. Many of us take time. But however, I once had a conversation and I'll end the podcast with this. I had a conversation with one of my coach friends and it was an interview that we actually did. And he actually told me something and I was like, oh, this is this is interesting. He said he only works with clients that are a 10. And I was like, why? He said, because when you're a 10, you are ready to do anything anything you come with a different mindset you come with a different perspective when you're not quite a 10 you're still kind of you know um 
I don't know. You're still kind of stuck in that place. But however, when you are a 10, i.e. the woman who is in the position to take action and to get those steps that need changing. That's the woman that I want to support. That's the woman that I want to help. I want to help you if you don't know how to stop the procrastination, but you're in a position to take action. Let's have a conversation. You can message me on Facebook. You can message me in the emails, support at banutritioncoaching.co.uk. You can go to the website, book your session, which is a free coaching call with me, and we can have a conversation. That conversation will assess your readiness to see if behavior change coaching is for you because behavior change is no joke. You are literally changing your behaviors and your habits that you have done for many years one step at a time. So we're not trying to rush here. We're trying to do these things that they can be lasting habits. So if that's you, if you're the woman in the position and you're ready to take action now, then you are the woman that I do this for. You are why I am a coach over 15 years of being a coach. That is the guide to macros for healthy weight loss. These are some of the things that you can take into consideration and asking yourself, am I ready to do this for myself or am I ready to do this and get the help that needs to be done so that I can change the behaviors that I know I have, but I've been running away from, I've been doing everything, putting myself 100% into things and to people. So I avoid the reason why I'm overeating in the first place. That is what I'm going to leave you with friends plenty of food for thought right there pun intended and if you've got any questions then always email me the email address is support at vanutritioncoaching.co.uk email is always open and i will get back to you and my friends do not worry christmas is coming if you haven't got your guide go over to the website vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash holidays holiday with an s that is the guide that i created to take you through every holiday season and these are the tips that i've used myself from the mistakes that I made when I thought it was wise to do keto at Christmas when actually all of the foods, practically all of the foods on the table were highly carb-based and I ended up restricting myself thinking that would help me lose weight faster but then I found myself at the end of the table, the confectionery table. That's where I remained the rest of the night picking and grazing on sweets and chocolate to fill myself up when I really should have just had a plate of food and enjoyed the food. But my friends, that is where we end. That's all we've got time for in today's episode. I cannot wait to catch you in the next one. Hey friend, you made it to the end of the episode. What was your biggest takeaway from today's episode? Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review over on iTunes. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns about today's episode or you need help, then you can contact me over on Instagram at VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast or email me support at vanutritioncoaching.co.uk or you can head over to the Facebook page VA Nutrition Coaching Podcast. It helps us reach even more women who are fed up with dieting, don't know how to lose weight, they're frustrated with following Sally's results and they're not getting any of their own and they just finally want to shed some pounds and do it in a way that they can sustain and they can enjoy. But my friends, that's a wrap for today's episode. I can't wait to catch you on the next one. Until then friends, stay healthy, stay blessed and remember if you haven't already downloaded your five ingredient recipe pack you can go to the website vanutritioncoaching.co.uk forward slash recipes and download your five ingredient recipe pack who said healthy eating was boring see you next time friends